guys, Drifter here. Today I'm very excited to review the brand new Astro A30 headset. This is seriously Astro's masterpiece and one of the best gaming headsets that I have ever put my hands on ever. I've been sponsored by Astro for over a decade now. Thank you FTC for that disclosure. There are sponsorship links, discount links, 10% off, all that stuff down there below. And they wanted me to talk about this during the holidays and talk about a holiday tradition, which for me, is late shopping and this video is coming out a little bit late so if you've got extra money or you've got a gamer in your family and you don't know what to get them this thing is amazing but we're moving fast today let's go straight into a turbo unboxing these look really good <laughs> All right, so that was it for the turbo unboxing. We've got the Xbox Edition Astro headsets out with wireless dongle and detachable mic, which we'll get to in a little bit. I think these guys are gorgeous, and it's time for me to tell you why they're so good. They're highly customizable. You can change out your earpieces if you want. Also, these guys come right out and can be replaced with any of the classic A40 ear tags that have been sold for years now. So these are quite old and they fit right in and work just fine. Though to be honest, I do kind of like the iridescent ones. They are easily adjustable to any size head. Both sides come down pretty far. It's a little bit hard to see in the video, but the headband is made out of a very durable metal material. You almost can't break it, yet there's still plenty of leather here. Those features are nice, but what makes the A30 great is that this is the Swiss Army knife of headsets. This headset does so many things. As you can see on the back of the box here, we have aux in, we have Bluetooth, we have 2.4 gigahertz wireless amongst other things. And I wanna show you the ports on this headset and tell you about all the things it can do simultaneously. So let's take a closer look at the ports and features on the bottom of the headset. We have a Bluetooth button right here for Bluetooth pairing. You can just hit that and pair to any Bluetooth device, be it a computer, phone, or whatever. We have the one mute switch right here. You just flip that to mute yourself on and off, really simple like. We also have USB-C for charging. I haven't been able to get audio to work via USB-C. I don't see why it couldn't. We have a microphone port and an aux port. So you can plug in one of those old analog audio cables and it plays audio. The cool thing about that though, if you plug in the analog audio, this plays audio with no battery. It doesn't even have to be charged, which is great. The headset comes with a multifunction control. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's like a very tiny joystick. You can click in, left, right, up, down. That will adjust the volume. It'll adjust the balance between your sources because this can actually run both Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz and aux all at the same time. So with this, you can balance the levels between your sources, balance the audio, pause, play music, do a whole variety of things. And honestly, it's been super useful to me. One of the secret sauces behind the headset is that Astro A40s and A50s used to come with these big mix amps with a bunch of cables and a bunch of things going on. Pretty much all of that has been replaced by this one tiny little dongle that has a physical mute and pairing switch on it that you can hit. You plug this into any USB compatible device, the headset will pretty much instantly work while at the same time you can run 2.4 gigahertz wireless on your PlayStation while you're connected with Bluetooth and play audio in there. You can run this aux on your PC and wireless on a different device. You can run Bluetooth only, you can run Bluetooth and aux. There's a whole bunch of different combinations, which is just great because we used to have this whole mix amp with cables and stuff coming in and out, but now you can do pretty much all of that seamlessly. It also has a detachable microphone. So we have a very small, I'm trying to keep it in frame, a little bendy microphone here. Pretty tough, not the highest quality. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, a lot of gamers don't use the standard headset mics anymore and instead opt for blue microphones or something a little bit more professional. And that's okay, but if you do want to use this, you can very simply, if I'm pointing it in the right direction, yep, I can just plug it right in. And all of a sudden, now I have a headset with a microphone. I can communicate with my friends on console or PC using this mic, which we have a test of in just a little bit. Or if I don't want it, it just comes right out and I use whatever other mic I have. I have a Blue Spark XL up there that I record most of my audio on, so that works fantastic too. So I'm doing this really fast, but I again want to highlight that's a lot of features in one headset. This is one headset that does 2.4 gigahertz wireless, Bluetooth, aux, multiple combinations of that at the same time with consoles, detachable mic, 
multifunction control, customizable. There's a lot going on here. On top of that, uh, as you see on the back of the box, it says it's rated for 27 hours of use. And we just unboxed this one, but I'm gonna reach over like a clown. These are the PlayStation Edition headsets. I've had these and I've been using them for about two or three months now. I've only charged them twice and I'm not a light user. I'm getting well above the rated 27 hours of audio from these headsets and they are comically durable in terms of battery longevity. They're also pretty durable in general for wireless headsets. Not quite as tough as the old A10s or some of the indestructible Astros because you've got a lot of you know, electronic components, but quite durable for wireless. In terms of sound quality, these are a little bit different than A40s and A50s. I think the sound quality is excellent, but there are some things about it that might throw off new users. First of all, they're not very noise canceling. When I put these on, I can still hear a lot of my surroundings around me. I can have a normal conversation with my wife. It doesn't drown a lot of things out, whereas the old ones would, they would just kind of vacuum seal on your ears. Initially, I found this to be very annoying. However, after using them for a little bit, it was really nice to actually be able to listen to music and have a conversation or be a little bit more aware of my surroundings at the gym and things like that. Though for a new user, it may throw you off a little bit. On top of that, the overall audio quality is excellent on these devices, but the devices do tend to be a little bit lower in terms of overall volume. The old Astros were just like, if you wanna blow your ears out and go deaf at 14, you can just go for it and crank that for people can hear it across the room. These aren't do that. I would say their default volume is probably a little about 25% less than the lower Astro, than the older Astros. Yes, you can crank them and make it much louder, but with the higher quality of audio, I haven't found that to be necessary. I still run them on pretty low volume and hear things very well. I'm very satisfied with how they function for gaming, very satisfied for how they function for media, and mostly for music is fantastic too. But in case I was unsatisfied, there's actually a handy dandy little app that we can use to customize. So I installed the Logitech G app on my phone paired with Bluetooth. It's pretty much automatically going to connect to the headsets and detect them. Loading, here we go. What do you think of the app? Uh, we'll just skip this for now. But as you can see, I've got the Astro A30 connected, loaded up. I currently have it on the media profile, but I can put it on game profile or I can create a new one. We'll just do that and we can highly customize that one. But I'll go back to media. You've got the microphone volume, it's turned off. You have equalizer settings built into the game where you can either do immersive for audio, footsteps for games, or you can create your own presets with settings that I genuinely do not understand. Now here's a weird one. It does connect to the Astro Mixamp and it does have mixing options if you have multiple devices connected. I don't, so it's a little grayed out right now. Here's a little bit of more look at the equalizer. You can just create your own profile and do whatever you want with these to either hear footsteps better or certain musical notes. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm smart enough to know how all of this works. It's just a very nice option to have, and when you're done, you can test your sound. There's a few other settings in here. You can connect to your A30 extra settings. You can give it a certain name. I'll probably name mine different than my wife's. It shows you your firmware. Uh, you have tones. That's what the headset plays. Take a tour, factory reset, and this one is extremely important. This is one of the headset flaws. Sleep mode. It's default on 15 minutes, which means if you lay your headsets down flat like they are right now, in 15 minutes they will turn off. And the only way to disable it is to install the app and connect and do that setting on here. And there's no way to do it on the headset directly, and this is a problem because it's fine like this, but if you were going to, say, lay down and listen to music, it's gonna turn off after 15 minutes. So one of the first things I did was disable the sleep mode. Okay, so this looks a little crazy, but what I wanted to do is do a live test of the Astro A30 microphone. What you're listening to me on right now is the Blue Spark SL microphone. It's a really high quality broadcast mix, so it probably sounds great. What I'm, what I'm about to do is go into OBS, go to properties on my audio, and we are gonna change this to the Astro microphone that's on the headset. Now I've officially swapped over to that and my experience with this microphone is that it has been quite quiet, but also not the highest quality. It has a bit of the Darth Vader going on with the <laughs> You get a sense of the quality. You can always put a mic cover on it. You can always use a different mic and mechanically speaking, it's compatible with the blue ice pop accessory here, which gets you like condenser quality microphone audio. 
on one of these little guys, but the form factor is a little weird, so it comes out in this like crazy direction and it's a little bit difficult to bend around in front of your face. Personally, I think the microphone is by far the weakest part of this entire thing. I'm gonna go back to my chat mic because this probably sounds a lot more professional. That's really the flaw. That's the flaw with this product is that the microphone is not very impressive. Just walk over to the wall of Astros and pick one of the many amazing headsets here. You may actually notice these are the old A38s. These are the headsets that I kind of discovered music on somewhat recently. They're like 10 years old at this point, but uh, what I was trying to say is I can hook it up to the oldest mix amp, the next oldest mix amp, or the next gen mix amp with any of these cables, and they all still connect just fine to the new A30. So if you're using a mix amp for your setup, these are perfectly compatible. So personally, I'm stuck in a little conundrum for my average day-to-day -day gaming. The A10s probably are all that I need. However, if I wanted to use something nicer, it would be the A30s because they have a very wide range of compatibility. But we're gonna be talking about some other products in today's video. I have a variety of Logitech G and Astro stuff over here. Uh, this is the Logitech G513 keyboard, love the stainless steel. And this is the Pro X wireless super light mouse. Mind the grime on there. I've been gaming with this thing for ages. Oh, hi. One of my favorite uses for the new A30s is as a media entertainment device. One of the things that I love to do at the end of a long day of work, lay down in bed, listen to music, watch some music videos, enjoy the stars and ambiance of the lights in the room. Hopefully the cat doesn't get too into my feet and other things. And it's just really, really great for that. And the cool thing about it is, let's say I'm sitting here watching or listening to music and it's connected via Bluetooth, right? And something happens. Well, I can take my phone with me and I can walk upstairs to the upstairs office and just immediately plug it right into the gaming uh, station and go straight to gaming with full audio and keep all of the music videos and music right here pumping into the headsets where nobody on stream can hear it. So that's all about the Astro A30s and why I think they're Astro's masterpiece. They're $230, which is a little bit expensive for a headset without a mix amp, but these are compatible with basically everything and the little wireless dongle allows you to seamlessly connect either PC or console and multiple devices at the same time and it's compatible with old mix amps and it takes multiple inputs from multiple wireless signals at the same time which is great for production and it's generally just like a Swiss army knife of a headset. I expect these to last a very long time and continue to be compatible with a lot of things in the future. If you'd like to pick up your own pair of A30s, there's a link down there below in the description that should give you 10% off. If that doesn't work, you can also try Code Drifter. But these aren't the only products I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to use a little bit of time at the end of the video to also talk about Logitech G's new Holiday Edition Pro X Super Light Mouse. They just launched this stark, bright red one, kind of like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Red mouse and this is the mouse well this brand you saw the black one upstairs this brand of mouse is the one that i've used to get pretty much all of the gameplay you've seen on my channel in the last three or four years this one's unboxing is very very simple here it is the very stark red mouse i actually kind of like the little white outline on the wheel it's insanely light at 63 grams that's barely the weight of a handful of paper clips and what I like about this mouse is that it has a great form factor for your hand. It weighs almost nothing, so there's no resistance, no moving it. It operates on Logitech G's Lightspeed Wireless technology, which is actually faster than wired and not BS, believe it or not. But if you don't like that, it's still got a USB port right here as well. It's just got the scroll wheel, the two buttons, and we've got two on the side that are very simple. I kind of get lost in gaming mice that have like four buttons here and six buttons here, and they're kind of overwhelming me. This one's just got two customizable programmable buttons, and they come in a bunch of different colors. So you probably already saw the black one upstairs that had my hand grime all over it, but we do have a little collection here. We've got the new holiday red one. We've got the stark white one. These two are actually identical because these are Logitech G Pro X wireless super lights. This one is a Logitech G Pro wireless mouse. Now this one is not a super light. It is barely heavier, heavier than the other ones. This one's probably 60 something grams. This one's probably 80 to 90. You really won't notice much difference except on the side you will notice the non-super light versions do have space for extra buttons. If you want to purchase them or expand or add them later, you can do that. I think I have done that on the upstairs mouse, but I really don't even use the side buttons very much. 
And what I'm probably gonna do at the end of unboxing and recording this video, of course, is swap back over to the stark red version here because it just, it's like a feather, which is just godly for gaming. I couldn't tell you how good it feels to have no resistance when I'm sliding my mouse around and not even a wire to tug on. Well guys, that's all for my review of the brand new Astro A30 headsets, a masterpiece in my opinion, and the Logitech G Pro X Super Light wireless mouse and its uh, color varieties. I think these are fantastic products, and if your holiday traditions are anything like mine, you're probably desperately shopping for gifts right now, and I would highly recommend picking any of these up because they're super high quality, super durable, super compatible, and pretty much guaranteed to make the gamer in your family happy. And if you wanna save a little bit of money, click, click the link or use the code down there in the description. Oh wait, we almost forgot animal testing. Okay, Boomy, it's time for animal testing, okay? We do this every holiday season. Look, this is the new Logitech Astro A30 wireless headset. Let's put it on your ears. Well, let's just put it on your head. Yeah, very stylish. I like, you know, it, it, the light actually matches his cream color and orange really well. I think it's a very fashionable accessory. For those of you that don't know, Boomy's totally deaf. So for him, headsets are a little bit more like a fashion accessory. Good boy. Your brain is so small. Christy, you like mice, right? Cats like mice? Uh, in case you didn't know, we adopted an older shelter cat. Uh, they were going to put her down, so we gave her a new home. <gasps> you don't like these mice? You like the juicy, delicious kind? Krista. Oh my god, she's just going to go around this side, probably. Hey girl, look, it's mice. You want to chase them? Look, oh. It's amazing how well they get along. Oh, very cute. Oh, maybe you like the red one? It's very light. Who's a good girl? Oh. <laughs> he just knows the camera. <laughs> Boomy's trying to direct. He's trying to executive produce this right now. He's got his fat head on top of the camera. Oh no!